So you've got a document that you want to delete or remove a page from. This could be a blank page that has somehow found its way into your document, or just a page of text that you no longer need. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove this. If you find this video useful, please hit the subscribe button below and let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. My name is Aidy Blackman. Join me after the intro as I walk you through deleting a page from a Word document. I've got a sample document here. It's about 30 pages of random text, but the formatting has been thrown out. I've got a few blank pages and some big gaps in the text. I'll switch to multi-page view so we can take a look. That's done from the view ribbon and selecting multiple pages in the zoom section. Now we can see we've got some blank space on page one and again on page two. Pages three and four are completely blank. The same issue with page four and five. The rest isn't looking too bad. So now we've had an overview look at the document, I'll switch back to single page view by selecting one page from the zoom section, only because that's how most people are used to looking at documents in Word. Some of this editing is actually easier in multi-page view, but as most people are used to the single page layout, I'll stick with that for the minute. I'll also move the zoom level back to a normal level, just to give you a more realistic starting point. Let's scroll down to our first completely blank page. That was page three, I think. There we go. We can see a blank page, but to the computer, this page isn't necessarily blank. There is probably something on this page that just isn't visible to us, but is there as far as the computer is concerned. This is likely to be carriage returns, spaces, where the spacebar or tab key has been pressed, or more advanced things like page or section breaks. We need to remove these, and in so doing, it should remove the page for us. If you want to remove a block of text in Word, let's say remove a paragraph of text, how would you do it? Well, you would probably highlight the text by dragging the mouse cursor across the text, then hitting backspace or delete. We do exactly the same to remove blank space. The only challenge is that we don't know where on the page the special hidden characters are that we're trying to remove. The easiest thing to do is click and hold the mouse in the top left corner and drag down the page. Ideally, you want to drag right to the very bottom of the page to make sure you get everything. You'll notice as you do this, you'll get some blank space highlighted. These are the bits that are causing this page to appear blank and other bits we want to remove. Now we have something highlighted, we can hit backspace or delete on the keyboard. That should cause this blank page to disappear. If it didn't seem to do much, you might not have quite highlighted everything. Just have another go at highlighting the whole page by clicking and dragging down from the top corner and hitting the delete or backspace on the keyboard. Normally, a couple of tries is enough to remove everything to get the blank page to disappear. So that's our first blank page gone. I'm going to use the same technique, but from the multi-page view, so that you get a better idea of what's happening. Remember, you can switch the multi-page view from the layout ribbon. Again, we click and drag from the top left corner down towards the bottom of the page. Once we have everything highlighted, hit delete or backspace on the keyboard. And as soon as I do that, the blank space is removed and the rest of the document jumps up one page. Let's use this blank page above to show you another way to do this. This way can be a little more reliable in that it's a more reliable way of selecting everything on the page that is causing it to appear blank. But don't use this method if the page isn't blank or it will cause everything on the page to be deleted. Again, I'm in multi-page view just because it makes it easier to see what's going on. It will work fine from the normal single page view as well. The first thing I need to do is make sure that the cursor is flashing away on the page that I want to remove. If I have the cursor on another page, that is the page that it will remove. Now I have the cursor on the page that I want to remove. From the home ribbon, I select find, which you'll find on the right in the editing section. Then select go to. A new find and replace dialog box will appear. 
Make sure you're on the Go To tab at the top. And in the text box where it says Enter Page Numbers, type in backslash page. No space between the backslash and the word page. Enter it just as you see on the screen. Once you enter this, click the Go To button. This should have highlighted everything on that page for you. To close the dialog box, click the Close button. Now I just need to hit the Delete or Backspace key again and we see that the blank page is gone and the rest of the document has adjusted with the page removed. Now on these pages I have some text I would like to keep but there is a lot of blank space around them so let's get rid of all that blank space. So first we have a completely blank page on the left so let's practice that last technique again. Click anywhere on the page to make sure the cursor is flashing away on the page that we want to remove. Now I can go back to Find on the Home ribbon, or I can press Ctrl plus G on the keyboard. Make sure we are on the Go To tab and type in backslash page and click Go To. Then Close. Finally hit Delete or Backspace on the keyboard. Now we have some blank space after this paragraph. I can't use the same technique as it would get rid of the text as well. So I'll go back to the first way of doing it and click and drag in the margin, starting on the first blank line and dragging to the bottom of the page. With that highlighted, hit delete. That's brought the next block of text across to this page, but I still have a bit of space between the two paragraphs. So I'll do exactly the same. Click and hold the mouse at the start and drag this time to just before the second paragraph and hit delete. The same technique once more should close this last gap and finish off tidying this page. I've said that there are hidden characters on a page that cause the page to be blank. Rather than blindly highlighting them and deleting, there is a better way to see these characters and marks. To do this, on the home ribbon, you'll find the, this button in the paragraph section. This will give you a visual representation of any spaces, carriage returns, or other marks, such as page breaks. Click the button to turn it on. Now, if we look at the document, you can see that at the end of each paragraph, we have this symbol. That's the symbol for enter or carriage return. And this blank space here, we can see it's caused by this page break. So if I delete the page break, it should delete the blank space. I'll click to the right of it and use the backspace key to remove it. You can see that as soon as I do, the text the, from the previous page jumps up onto this page. If we scroll up, we can now easily see what is going on on the first few pages. And of course, I can easily correct it by navigating around and deleting the symbols that are causing the problems. In this case, the extra page breaks. There we go, all done. We now have a solid block of text with no white gaps. What if you want to remove more than one consecutive page at a time? Well, I could use the click and drag technique. I switch back to the single page view, as that is how most people use Word. Click in the top corner and drag down. As I get near the bottom of the page, Word will scroll down the document, highlighting as I go. But this can be rather tedious to highlight several pages in one go, and also to highlight the exact bit that you are after, as it tends to fly through the document. There is a more precise way though. Click the mouse at the start of the block to highlight, then press the F8 key on the keyboard. Not much on the screen will change, but if I now scroll down, and click on the end point to highlight and click you can see that it has highlighted the text in between. Now I can do whatever I need with the highlighted text. In this case I'm going to hit the delete key to remove it. You'll exit the F8 selection function when you click a second time. If you find yourself stuck with text being highlighted whenever you click, just hit F8 again to go back to normal mode. If you found this video useful, hit the subscribe button. I'm planning on a series of these. If there are topics or questions you would like me to cover, 
let me know in the comments below. Many thanks for watching. See you in the next video.